So no matter what, you're not going to have more significant figures than you have in your original raw data, right? Oh, okay, so that means you have three. You know, to me it always seems a, a real tragedy to have a student, you know, come to college, say, I want to be a biology major for whatever reason, or I want to be a, a science major, and not find out until maybe their senior year that actually the thing that biologists really do um, isn't very appealing to them. They were attracted to biology because they were really good at doing biology in a, in a course structure, but throw them into a laboratory where there's a lot more open-endedness to, to the problems, you have to use a lot more creativity to solve your problems. You know, they're just lost and they don't really like it. And so to me it seems almost like um, you know, false advertising, bring students in, we'll, we'll, you know, trust us, you, you'll, you'll like it, trust us, you'll like it, but we don't really let them really do it until maybe their senior year and they do an independent research project and they actually get to do something similar to what we're doing in Bio 150s. The thing I like about the 150s is that, that I think is special is you learn to work with people and, and science doesn't just happen one person looking in a microscope discovering things, but it happens with people. There's like 10 or 12 different 150s. So students can pick the 150 that they feel that they identify with the most, and then they buy into it right away. So mine is called the language of neurons, and the, so the topic that we focus on really refers to how neurons communicate essentially with other neurons. The idea is how, does, how do nerves communicate, what is the nature of that form of talking that they engage in between different cells. It's an important, interesting question as to how cells talk to each other in this way. They use a chemical message that gets transmitted from one cell to the other and basically tells the receiving cell what to do, whether to become more active or to become less active. Um, and that's happening all of the time. And in fact, in the human brain, that's happening at trillions of, of synapses in, in the brain sort of simultaneously. Um, as usual, it's, it's, it's really impressive. I mean, it, you have to kind of keep pinching yourself and saying, you know, these really are kids who prior to this semester had done nothing like this before, had really taken any college level science classes, biology classes, and then you see something that's not that much different than what you see when you go off to your professional meetings and, and do this. One of the cool things is that we've all been um, working on the same things, like how to write an abstract, how to ask scientific questions, how to create a, hypo a working hypothesis and create an experiment that um, helps us prove the hypothesis or disprove the hypothesis, um, hopefully not. <laughs> but um, so all the people have the same like tools and the same structure, but uh, are all coming at it from really different places. So it's, that's been really cool. Like there's people working on like sunscreen and radiation or like how hermit crabs walk up hills or, and I don't know, so that's been really cool. It looks good right now. I think we'll have a lot of people come out. We have a lot of our alumni who have come back. So I've seen a lot of my students from last year who were here. So that's really fun. It's, it's really fun to come back and look at people's posters and see what projects they're doing and how they're trying to think like a scientist. Because I remember back in 150 days when we're all trying to wrap our heads around how to do a project and actually seeing it come to fruition is really a cool thing to do. If they see somebody who did a project looking at, let's say, joint angles in goats, and they did a project on sheep last year, they're so excited. <laughs> and they know what to ask, because they know the morphology, so it's good. Obviously, this represents a lot of hard work and, and um, commitment to having, you know, sort of done this during the semester. But I'm also, I, I really, it, it's really fun to see how much this event itself means to them you know and they're you know they're they're taking this very seriously it's very important and that's that's a feature of of this way of teaching that you don't it's really hard to get any other way um, so the students really own it 
I mean, this isn't just something that they're doing because we tell them they have to do it. They really want to do this because at some point along the way, after they spend enough time on these projects, they really become their projects. And that's just, that's just a whole different way of, of looking at wh whatever you're doing. If it's something you really want and you think is important, you're going to own it and, and contribute in a way that you don't do it if you're just being told to do it.